Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. Hello learners. A pleasant day. It's now time to learn to enhance your skill in technology. I'm your mentor, Sir Joam. Happy to teach and lead you in our TLE 6 class. The most essential learning competency for week 6 is Uses functions and formulas in an electronic spreadsheet tool to perform advanced calculations on numerical data. Before we start our new lesson, let us first recall how to create an online survey tool using Google Forms. From this topic you learn the meaning, the requirements, the steps of creating Google Forms, and lastly the types of distinct questions in the Google Forms. Now, let us start our new lesson, prepare your paper and pen to take down important notes. Try to guess these unfamiliar words by arranging the jumbled letters. First word. S-T-E-E-P-H-R-A-S-D-E. It is an electronic document in which data is arranged in the rows and column of a grid and can be manipulated and used in calculation. And the correct answer is spreadsheets. Second word, UNCTFION. It is a relationship or expression involving one or more variables. And the answer is function. Third word, FLORUMA. A mathematical rule or relationship that uses letters to represent amounts which can be changed. And the correct answer is formula. Fourth word, the letters are C-A-L-I-O-C-U-L-A-T-N. The meaning of this word is the act of calculating, which is using math or logic to figure out a problem. The correct answer is calculation. And the last word is T-E-H-S-K-R-O-W. A sheet that is used in making preliminary plans, auxiliary computations, notes, or comments as a guide in doing some piece of work. The correct answer is worksheet. Have you come across the term Microsoft Excel? What is Microsoft Excel? Microsoft Excel is a software program created by Microsoft that uses spreadsheets to organize numbers and data with formulas and functions. How about spreadsheets? Spreadsheet is an electronic spreadsheet application program is designed to perform basic mathematical and arithmetic operations. Microsoft Excel is one example of the most used computerized worksheets. Let us now identify the different parts of Microsoft Excel. Title Bar Quick Access Toolbar Menu Bar Name Box Column Heading Row Heading Status Bar Sheet Tab Active Cell Horizontal Scroll Bar Vertical Scroll Bar Zoom Control And the last part is Ribbons. Now these are the functions of Microsoft Excel. One is calculation that return a result. Another is to create and enter functions, always start with equal sign. Also, without it, Excel will not calculate a result. The inputs in functions are called arguments. Sum. Display the sum of the selected data directly after the selected cells. These are the steps on how to use the sum function. First. Click the cell that you want a sum to be located. Second, click the Formulas tab. Third, locate the Sum function on the Auto Sum button. Last is, highlight the data that you want to add, then press Enter. The next function is Average. This is the arithmetic mean and is calculated by adding a group of numbers and then dividing by the count of those numbers. Here is how to use the Average function. First, highlight the data that you want to average. Second, click the Formulas tab. Third, locate the average function on the Auto Sum button. And fourth, the average will appear below the selected data. 
The count functions. Count the number of cells that contain numbers and count numbers within the list of arguments. These are the step in using count function. First, highlight the data that you want to count. Second, click the formulas tab. Third, located the count function on the auto sum button. Fourth, the count will appear below the selected data. The max functions. It is finding the highest value in a set of data. The steps in using max function are. First, highlight the set of data. Second, click the formulas tab. Third, locate the max function on the auto sum button. Lastly, the maximum number will appear below the selected data. Next is MIN function. It finds the smallest value in set of data. And the steps are. First, highlight the set of data. Then, click the formulas tab. Next, locate the MIN function on the auto sum button. Last, the smallest number will appear below the selected data. The LEN function. The LEN function returns the number of characters in a text string. The steps in using LEN functions are. 1. Click on the cell that you want the result to be located. 2. Type equal sign then click on the LEN function. 3. Click on the cell that you want the characters to be counted. 4. Press Enter. Here's some of the commonly used formulas in Microsoft Excel. Always remember that when putting a formula, it always starts with an equal sign. On the other hand, formulas are combination of functions, operand, and operators. These are used when you are manually calculating. How to use the formulas function. First, click on the cell that you want the formula to appear. Second, type equal sign. Third, click on the cell that you want to compute then type in the formula. And lastly, press enter. Now you already know about the spreadsheets. Let us now answer our learning task for the week. In activity one, Identify the function described in the following sentences. Activity 2. Solve for the following using formulas. Number 1 is done for you. In engagement part, solve the following using functions. Number 1 is done for you. And the last learning task is assimilation. In this part you need to explain the importance of electronic spreadsheet to the following. 1. Teacher. 2. Student. 3. Business. 4. Home. And 5. Work. Congratulations! I know you will get a high score in the learning tasks. That's all for now in our TLE subject for quarter 1 week 6. This is Sir Jome. Signing off.